Welcome to my channel. This video shows the parametric sweep analysis of a common source amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. For this demonstration, consider a CS amplifier with NMOS transistor of width 1 micrometer and resistor of 100 ohms. I want to perform the parametric sweep of these two parameters like select this resistor and change the resistance value to R. Click on OK. Similarly, change the total width of this transistor to WN. Click on OK and provided a DC voltage of 1 volt. The input is a sign. Check the properties of it. Provided a DC voltage of 700 millivolt, AC magnitude of 5 millivolt, and the input frequency is 1 gigahertz. Plot the input and output for various values of R and for various values of W, N. So once the design is completed, go to the launch, click on ADEL, right click and click on edit, perform the transient analysis up to 5 micro. Click on moderate, plot the input and output of the design. Click on OK. Since I am using the parameters here, copy these parameters into the cell view. Copy from cell view. Initial value is 100 ohm and it has got a width of 1 micro that means the transistor total width is 1 micro. So first let me simulate this by clicking on netlist and run. Just click on split all strips. This is the input and this is the output. So since it is a common source amplifier, it will have a inversion at the input and output. I want to perform the parametric analysis of these two parameters R and WM simultaneously. So go to the tools. Click on parametric analysis, add the variables, double click on it, select the first variable WN, its default width is 1 micro, right click and click on insert row for another variable. This is for R. Initial value is 100. Now I want to perform the sweep of WN from 1 micro to 5 or you can give 10 also. Let me provide 5 micro and I want to have the resistor values from 50 ohms to like load of 250 ohms or you can provide 300 total steps is you can provide 10 here also 10 once this is done click on run selected sweeps this will generate 100 points if you want we can continue click on ok You can observe 
for what are the different values it is going to perform the parametric sweep for 1 micro 72 ohms again for 1 micro 94 so it will calculate for various values of r again 2 micro for various values of r The simulation takes a bit of time because it have to perform the many calculations like 1 micro with various values till it reaches 250. There are in total there are maybe 16 minimize this. If you want you can view this there are still 88 remaining It takes a bit of time to complete the simulation as it has to perform more number of calculations with respect to WN and R. Still there are around 70 simulations because the number taken was very large. It will simulate at 50 to 250 for 10 iterations. Total number of steps. You can reduce these number of steps here if you want. But I have preferred for 10 simulations. This was the previous output.
still there are 47 remaining. The count was huge because it has to perform more number. That's why it takes time to complete the simulation. The time taken depends on the total number of steps that are given here. If the number of steps taken are less, automatically it will take less, num less number of iteration to complete this. But I have provided 10 steps within this, so it will perform more number of evaluations for various values of R and WM. Since we have used two parameters simultaneously. If it is a single parameter, it could have taken the less amount of time. So we came down to 26. Eighty iterations are done. Still remaining is twenty. I'm not pausing any video because I want to show you the real time simulation of entire iterations. Still 15 remaining. Nearly 90% is done. 
left with only nine remaining. last run it's done almost see the output plots v in versus v out let me separate all these plots and just zoom in This is the total simulation for various values.